In this video, we are going to see how to use OpenAI with Google Forms and Google Docs. So let's say that you're using a form builder application, which is Google Form here. So every time a form is submitted, let's say that, you, that there is this employee engagement survey in your office. Okay, so every time a form is submitted. Now what you want is the data that you have received through those forms. There is certain data for which you have to generate content and you are using OpenAI for the same. OpenAI is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps you in generating content. And then what you want is you want to create a document, append the generated content in that document and just save it. How can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the three applications. And the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Forms. Then your action application would be OpenAI and then Google Docs. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that here, we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. So as I do that here, we have reached the all applications page. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that I'm using Google Form as a form builder application. And every time I receive a response, let's say it is a survey to understand what kind of articles should be taken for the monthly newsletter. So everybody is filling up the form and they are submitting their responses. So what we have to do is once we have received the response with the help of OpenAI, we are going to generate the content and then we are going to create a document in the name of the title and then append the paragraph there. So I'm going to name it as use OpenAI with Google Forms and Google Docs. Let's click on create. So as I do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one here is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. So in this integration, our trigger application would be Google Forms. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event would be new response received. Here on the right hand side, you can see it is written. This trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which basically means that this application has got no polling time. So as soon as we receive the response, then automatically the workflow is going to run and then we would receive the content generated through OpenAI and then finally the document. So now, here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Forms with Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this and then we are supposed to follow the following steps. So please read this carefully. Now I'm going to show you what we have to do. So first of all, I'm going to take you to the Google Form that I have created. So here you can see that it is written. This is a survey for monthly newsletter. And here is the subtitle monthly newsletter articles. Then I have got the following fields, full name, contact number, email address, and then suggest a topic for the monthly newsletter article. So once I have created this form, here we have to go to the last step. And you can see a field required. We are going to toggle this towards the right and turn it on Y so that the moment the person fills this and come to the last question. The moment this is filled, automatically the response would be generated. So once this is done, we are going to go to responses. And here you can see three dots. Let's click on this. And here we can see it is asking us to select the response destination. So here we have got two options. Either there is an existing spreadsheet, you can enter the response there, or you would want to create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Let's click on create. So as soon as that is done, 
so this split sheet has been created and as i click on this see here we have got the following column fields the timestamp full name contact number email address and suggest a topic for the monthly newsletter article i'm going to format this so that you can see this clearly so let me just quickly enhance the font size let me put some color here okay so once this is done now what i am going to go back to my google forms okay and now i'm going to click on this preview and i'm going to fill up this form so let's say the full name here is demo user let's make it capital d and capital u so this is the name of the person the contact number then we have the email address and now suggest a topic for the monthly newsletter article so let's say marketing strategies to enhance instagram reach okay so now i'm going to click on submit so as soon as i do that here you can see that the response has been captured so we have got one extra field over here which is timestamp it is going to capture the time and date when the response has been received here in the google sheet now once this is done i have to connect this sheet with pably connect i can rename this as well so i'm here going to write google form responses okay so now here we have to go to extensions then we are going to go to add ons here we have to go to get add-ons so this here is the google workspace marketplace now we are looking for the application public connect webhooks let's click on this now you can see that this has already been installed in my system so please make sure once you have installed this close this window and refresh the page this is absolutely important and once we have refreshed it we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to go back to extensions and here you would be able to see pably connect webhooks we are going to go to initial setup so here you can see that the sheet has been selected now this webhook url that we had just received through pably connect i'm going to copy this and paste this over here and now comes the trigger column the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added so in this particular sheet it is column e so i'm going to write e here let's click on send test you can see that the test data has been sent successfully let's click on submit and here you can see that the configuration is all set i'm going to close this taking you back to extensions let's go back to public connect webhooks and here you can see send on event please make sure that you click on this to check on this so that every time a new form has been filled and the sheet captures the data a response can be sent otherwise it is not going to send the response so here now you would be able to see that there is a check on this send on event now i'm going to go back to pably connect to see if we have received the response and yes here is our api response this here is the trigger column the timestamp then this is the articles topic then we have the sheets name spreadsheet id then we have the sheet name and then sheet id row index full name email address and contact number now what is my objective i have to generate content with the help of open ai so i'm going to click on this and look for open ai as my application here it is now the action event here would be to generate content i'm going to click on connect we know that open ai is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps in generating content and images instantly so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the open ai account i'm going to click on add new connection now to set up this connection first we have to log into our open ai account and then click on this hyperlink i have already logged in so i'm directly going to click on this and here you can see that it is asking me to create a new secret key i'll click on this and the api key has been generated let's copy this go back to public connect paste this over here to set up this connection i'm going to click on save so here we can see that open ai is now connected with pably connect so once this is done now we have to map this information but before i do that i'm going to take you to my open ai website so this is my open ai website you can reach here by typing www.openai.com once you have reached here you have to click on api as soon as you do that 
Here, it is saying that you can build next generation apps with OpenAI's powerful models. This is an absolutely powerful application that can literally make your life a lot easier. And here I'm going to click on login. So as soon as I do that, we would reach the dashboard of this application where you can see certain tutorials and examples. Here we are directly going to go to playground and as per the name suggests, this is an extremely interesting space. Let me show you how. So here, let me say that I want to write, write a story on a flower. Okay. Now, as soon as I have written this and I click on submit, let's see the miracle. It has automatically started to write a story. Now, the best part here is that you can actually alter the length of this article as well. Now, I'm going to throw some light on the various features that it has got. So here, first of all, we have got the mode and then we have the models. So we usually go for text Avinci 003. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. It can perform any task the other GPT-3 models can. So it can process up to 4000 tokens per request. Then we have the temperature. Temperature controls randomness. So as the temperature approaches zero, the model will become deterministic and repetitive. And as it approaches one, so it is going to produce random responses. Now, the next thing that we have here is maximum length. Maximum length is the maximum number of tokens to generate. So here you can request and use up to 2048 to 4000 tokens. And the exact limit of the number of tokens that we can use depends and varies by model to model. One token is roughly four characters for normal English text. Now comes the stop sequence. This is absolutely important. So the moment you put the stop sequence, automatically the API will stop generating further tokens. So let's say the stop sequence is double backslash single hashtag. Then top P frequency penalty and presence penalty. So this basically like if we talk about frequency penalty, it decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim and presence penalty increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. Then we have best of. So OpenAI can generate multiple completion server side and display only the best. You can select from one to 10. So every time the workflow runs, you will be able to receive 10 responses out of which it is going to present to you the best one. Now the next thing is prompt. To understand that, let's click on this view code and here you can see prompt. Prompt is ba basically the instruction that we have provided. So here we have provided the instruction, write a story on a flower. So this is our prompt. So I hope this is clear to you. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and let's map this data. How do we do this? So first of all, we have the AI model. I'm going to select text of NC003. Then we have the prompt. So here I'm going to write, write an article on and now I'm going to map the title. How do I do that? So it is showing me the previous step. I click on this and this is the topic. Now this is known as mapping. Mapping is that I already have the information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it. And why is mapping important? Because every time you run the workflow, if I had written this manually, it would have only taken the manually written data. So the new data would never have been included, you know, so the workflow would have been a waste. And that is why it is important to map the data. So once the prompt is written, then the maximum number of tokens. So here you can see that the default value is 256. Let's say that I want a big article. So I'm writing 300 tokens. Then the sampling type. So that the sampling type here, we have got two options, temperature and nucleus. Since I want random data every time, I'm selecting temperature sampling. Now comes the sampling value, presence penalty and frequency penalty. So here we have the range. So the sampling value, ranges between 0 to 1, presence penalty and frequency penalty ranges between minus 2 to 2. And the default values here are 0 0.7, 0 and 0. So here I'm just going to write the default values. Okay. And the next thing is stop sequence. So the stop sequence is double backslash single hashtag. And then we have the best of. So I'm just going to write one. Let's click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we have received the API response and this is the article that we have just received. 
So this is my article. So once I have received this, what is my next objective? My next objective is to create a document in the name of the title. So my application would be Google Docs. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create a blank document. Let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Docs account. I'm going to click on add new connection and then sign in with Google. So as I do that, here it is asking me to choose the account once done. It is going to ask me to provide access to the Google account. So this is absolutely secure. I'm going to click on allow to provide it the access. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Public Connect is now connected with Google Docs. And here I have to map the document name. So I want the name of the document to be the same as the that of my title. So I'm going to click on this, go to step one. And this here is the title and this should be the name of my document. So let's click on save and send test request. So as I do that, I'm going to take you to Google Docs. And yes, here you can see that a document has been created. The name is marketing strategies to enhance Instagram reach. And this is a blank document. So going back to public connect, what is my next objective to append a paragraph here? So I'm going to add another action step. Again, the application would be Google Docs. Let's click on this. And the action event this time would be to append a paragraph to a document. Let's click on connect. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection here. And now here I'm going to turn this map button on, delete this. And now I'm going to map the document ID. How do I do this? So we had received the document ID in the previous step. Google Docs create a blank document. So I'm going to click on this. And as I go down here, you would be able to see document ID. Let's click on this. Now the inserted text. What do I want to insert for this? I'm going to go to step two. And this text here is the paragraph that is to be appended. Let's click on save and send test request. And once this is done, we have received the API response. I'm, I'm going to take you back to the Google document. And yes, here you can see that the paragraph is now a part of my Google documents, which basically means that this integration is a complete success. So I'm going to take you back to the form that we had filled. Let's click on submit another form this time. The first name here is test user. Then we have the contact number. Then we have the email address, which is testuser at publitudes.com. And then we have the topic. So let's say the topic here is why has Instagram become so popular? Okay, so this is my next topic. Now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that my response has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you to the Google sheet first. So here you can see that the response has been captured here. And then we are going to go to the Google Docs. So let me show you the home page. And here we can see that another article has been captured in a document which has been named why has Instagram become so popular? And this here is our article. Isn't that fantabulous? This is so easy and a lot of time has been saved here. This basically says that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what did we do. So here our trigger application was Google Forms where we had the event as new response received. Then our action application was Open AI where we had generated content. And our final action application was Google Docs where first we had created a blank document and then we had appended a paragraph to a document. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. If in case you have some specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. 
I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.